Greetings Commanders, this is Peganord, and I'd like to talk to you about Jagged Alliance 3, which just came out yesterday. Now this video game is pretty much in our wheelhouse, it has mercenaries, tactical battle, map overlay, and mod manager for future mods, which is, um, yeah, it has it all. So right now I've just been playing through the tutorial, quote unquote, because uh, the first island is already very difficult and I'd like to share my thoughts with you so let's see what we got so the first thing you have to do is to recruit your own mercenary in the very uh, early 2000 uh, web browser the date is actually up here we are April 3rd 2001 which brings back a few memories you have some ads you have a term of service that doesn't exist perfect so right there you get a lot of choices and things uh, to try to understand. Yeah, everybody has special perks. Uh, every one of them that I found have a special perk. So there's a lot to chew on right from the beginning. As when they're trying to learn all the stats. There's some elite and legendary mercenary that costs a lot of money. So right now you don't you have a budget of 40,000. So spending 20,000 on a single one would not probably not be a good idea. That is pretty up to you. There's a lot of uh, 80s and 90s action hero stereotypes, and uh, that's fine. That's what it's supposed to be. Don't take this game too seriously. So the first thing that I was surprised to find is the uh, impressive amount of exploration. You can go around from place to place looking for nooks and crannies and secrets like a good old CRPG, or something more recent like a Wasteland 3, looking for secrets. And you can access sections of the overlay map that doesn't necessarily look to have an objective or even enemies. You can go around and look for side quests and hidden treasure. And I was pleasantly surprised to see the uh, number of things do. that you can find from harvesting some medicinal herb to, to pulling spare parts out of crashed cars. There's also a surprising number of side quests that will have consequences depending on the choices that you do. Saving or rescuing or killing people will uh, bring you loyalty to of local population Which can in turn give you uh, more money out of the region and thus help in your campaign Making those choices were surprisingly important of uh, who to save and uh, who to fight or which NPC to choose in a conflict You have to be careful however how you explore because uh, this brings me to my next point, is that the combat is very unforgiving. Even for a uh, early game like this, or early inspired game. The wounds that you take are permanent until you take a lot of time to cure them. So any damage your uh, mercenary takes will take time to heal. Time that you are paying them, and you're paying your salary every week. So if you have two or three days of, of the week on downtime, just to uh, take care of your wounds, you're already halfway uh, pay halfway through their contract without getting anything done. It can get pretty gnarly. In this uh, exploration, for example, I found a tunnel hidden, a, an old bunker with plenty of enemies where I got my first taste of getting my ass kicked. And uh, yeah, it can get very, fa uh, very hard very fast, even though this is quote unquote a tutorial. Here's a few examples on how I got uh, my ass kicked when I first found that bunker on a, a side quest. Or when I decided to, uh, well, why not go speak to the goon over there and uh, see what could happen? Because, you know, it gives you the opportunity to go talk. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? I will lead. Yeah. Spoiler alert, it's uh, not a good idea. Get those knees up. What 
But this was one of the NPCs that I could possibly save. And you have some choices to make with you with him later. However, I don't recommend to go talk to the goons like I'm attempting to go there to do there. Yeah. It will go as well as you can imagine when the entire group just turns around you. Turns around against you and there's nowhere to uh there's no cover at all. It won't go very well. Well, the only true complaint that I do have is about the uh, the clunky uh, UI. I, the I know this now. is an old school game, but this, for the example right there, in order to rest, you can only do that by let, moving the time on the overland map. Which, in this case, uh, brought us to their end of their contract. Which meant that I had to, uh, one by one, renew their contract. I, there was not a button to renew everything at once. No, you have to go through the, the menu. So, little example that uh, are old school, but maybe a too, bit too much old school. In this case of that quest, for example, I missed a soldier who was uh, hiding in the back. So the quest did not complete. Now I had to go out, rest, uh, renew, redo all that. Little annoyances like that that I find can be uh, a bit, a bit too uh, much. So this is how I finally defeated the fort at the end of the quote-unquote tutorial. It is by um, capturing this machine gun nest and fixing the machine gun which was broken. Then I was able to do some overwatching and uh, laying down massive firepower to well kill them all basically i tried stealth mechanics for the life of me i couldn't figure out how to do a stealth kill uh, i also tried uh, some uh, c4 hidden explosive shenanigans didn't work as well so machine gun nest and just gunning them all down is a tip for you that works too so probably just come because i'm inexperienced with jagged alliance and uh some of the UI is a bit clunky, stealth mechanics are not working for me now. So let me know in the comments uh, if you've played uh, this game so far and how did you defeat this fort. For me, the machine gun nets is uh, how it did it. Let me know how to, uh, to do some stealth as well, because I uh, really suck at it thus far. So in conclusion, I'm, I'm, I'm having a good time as far as a first impression goes for Jagged Alliance 3. The learning curve, however, is very steep, and I'm fumbling my ways into uh, the player mechanics a bit. This tutorial is more at the sense of throwing you in the deep water is, uh, well, eh, he's not drowning yet. So let me know in the comments if you would like a more playthrough of Jagged Alliance as I fumble my way through the, uh, the campaign. Uh, this would not be done by an expert, this would be done by a noob. So let me know in the comments what you think. Of course, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching until the end. Please do all the YouTube stuff. It really helps a small channel. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.